PBC season one just dropped. It's a show made by accountants for accountants. See about that. My editor cut together the most accountanty bits of the season. Let's see just how accountanty it is. I think why nobody believes this is it's like the production value is just so high. Okay, initial reaction to the trailer was, why is Danny Trejo in an accountant show? I haven't seen this yet, but it's what makes people think, is this really a thing for accountants? Financial statement to make sure that it's fair and in conformity with okay, general so she's accounting an auditor. principles accepted in the United States of America. I've been told by pretty much everyone I've ever met that this is the single most boring job ever. Yep. But I find it absolutely uh. riveting. It's kind of like those cop movies where internal affairs comes into a shady precinct to sniff out a dirty cop. When an auditor finds fraud, means someone's going to prison. <laughs> well, white collar prison. So they still get like Netflix and tennis courts, but it's still prison. It is exciting to find fraud for sure. That's not really an auditor's job though. Auditor's job is to make sure the financial statements are fair and reasonable according to accounting standards. Finding fraud is very exciting. That's not why you do audit though. Can we go back and look at the spreadsheet she had on screen? Okay, first name, last name, fall tuition, fall stipend, total fall. Spreadsheet's called Research Staffing Analysis Sample. Sounds oddity. Couple flags for inconsistent formulas, but we'll let that slide. So I'm gonna start out with the uh, bad news first. Um, the auditors are showing up tomorrow. Boo, lame, death of them all. <laughs> but I have a big first ask from you for the team. I'm happy to help with the PVC request list. Oh! Mind reader alert. <laughs> now we need it by 5 p.m. Yeah. sharp. Can you handle that shred? I mean, Sarah? Of course, that's my job. Great, because if you don't do it, you're fired. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Last minute oh, requests. Cool. So it looks like this is like her first day. The auditors are coming tomorrow. Would you really leave the whole request list to the day before? Probably not. Makes for a good storyline. Tyranny of the urgent, that's that's definitely a thing. Managers that assign stuff last minute like that, that checks out. Look, just do us all a favor and don't kick so much ass that you make the rest of us look <laughs> stupid, okay? It's all about balance and accounting. You know all right, what I mean? this, well, so my hey. understanding is this is private. This is at a tech company. The people I've worked with in private are pretty solid. If you get anybody that's like, hey, don't make me look bad, I've seen that like big four regional. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I've heard so much about you. I'm Tracy, the accounting manager. Thanks for finishing all that up. Uh, unfortunately, your coworker Hunter isn't very sufficient at his job, and he screwed up a journal entry, so I'm gonna need you to fix it for That's me. That's a thing. Also, these 25 more requests came in, and they need to be done before the audit tomorrow. I hope that That's you That's a thing, yep. That. Fixing your colleague's screw up, rather than the manager going to your colleague and having them fix it, absolutely a thing. Talking about it right in front of them, accountants are more the avoid conflict, say that type of stuff behind closed doors type of people. It's the auditors. I'm glad I'm on the other side. Really? Are you sure? Because those people are about to make our lives a living hell. So, so what was the auditor driving? It's gotta be like a reasonable mid-sized sedan. Okay, Honda, maybe an Insight? Front bumper hanging off, I like it. White tennis shoes, 10 out of 10, like that. How does he know all the auditors so well? Usually you get people rotating on an audit so that you're not getting a whole bunch of the same folks year after year after year. So it is a little unusual that he knows who all the auditors are. And there's Lindsay, the star player of Anderson and Cooper, former president of Beta Alpha Psi, averaged a 97 on the CPA. Yeah, she's a wicked tough auditor and she takes the concept of uh, professional skepticism way too seriously. Did he just say average of 97 on the CPA? All right, there's, there's a general vibe of, of too much coolness happening, I think. If there's one thing here that's at odds with accountants, besides white tennis shoe guy, he's got it like that, more of that. Why haven't I gone private? I mean, sure, it's a higher salary, less hours, equity in a profitable company. I could probably buy a house, but <laughs> I've got a house. It's my mom's house. Living with your mom? I'll tell you one thing about accounting. You can make really good money out of school. So if you're living with your mom, it isn't for financial reasons. Request AP218. We requested invoice 2543, and you sent over invoice 2453. Busted. So oh, okay. we, just, we just gonna need you to rewind? 
back up a little bit, fix that, and upload the portal. I'm so sorry. I will fix oh, that. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, she's new, just getting her feet wet still. She will email that over to you ASAP, Rocky Bro. Oh, no, dude. Yeah. The, the portal is like so much more chill for us. <laughs> oh, the portal. Oh, it's so much more chill, yeah, but it's just like out of our hands. You know what I mean? Because the VPN and all that bandwidth. So I think we're just gonna have to email it over. Okay, fist fights over submitting things via a portal versus just sending it via email. That is peak accounting profession in the last few years. That is some niche like inside baseball stuff. That's pretty good. Just spoke to Tracy and she said she'll get you that requested invoice right away. Actually, you know what? I've been staring at fixed assets for 15 minutes and I already found three f ups. So you know what? I'm gonna send over 30 more requests and I'm gonna need those by 8.30 a.m. from Hunter to stay on track, okay? Capiche? Accountants are not really that direct usually. Usually the audit's a lot of not really giving immediate feedback, pulling a bunch of info in, much more transactional. I could count on one hand how many times I've ever seen an accountant confront another accountant face to face. What's it like being an auditor during busy season? H-E double, it's hell. <laughs> but I'm not a quitter. I wouldn't quit during a busy season, unlike a lot of my employees. Dale tore his own hair out and had to be institutionalized. Sandra, she disappeared. I called the news about that one. They actually said there was no record of anyone with Sandra's name. So I may have been seeing ghosts at a certain point, but am I quitting? <laughs> no. That one feels just almost a little too real. The smart people get out. I believe that solves the uh, $4 reconciling item right there. Wow. All right, nobody's worried about $4. If you're a company big enough to be paying for an audit, nobody's looking into $4. You know who's not fun? Auditors. Yeah, those guys suck. They're gonna be there all night, probably. Well, well wait, but you ended the prank war against them, right? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I gotta go, I gotta get out of here. I can't say I've ever seen trolling auditors, but I like it. I also don't think they're like staying late at night on site when there's nobody else there. Being on site's like, you only do it when you have to do it. Otherwise, those people are absolutely all going back to the hotel. We go back to the office right now, type up a new TB and give it to those fools. Give us, what was that invoice bullshit they pulled on us? Let's go back right now, give them a new TB. That's oh, pretty oh, savage. Oh, oh, oh. Your trial balance is all of your account balances. So anything that changes there, you're starting over from scratch. Definitely. Bracing. I mean. <laughs> That's pretty good. Should we really give them one right now? I mean, it's such a dick move. I mean, at the end of the day, your job is to have a successful audit outcome. And it doesn't seem like trolling your auditors is gonna make that more likely. And at the end of the day, if the audit comes back with a negative outcome, it's gonna be a reflection of this team. It's gonna be their fault. So I don't know, seems unlikely they're gonna torpedo their own careers by doing this. But if you're at your wit's end. Sarah, 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 this, there's just, there's so much personality happening right now. These people should be at home with their cats. <laughs> it does make for a better show though. Can everybody just relax? I will run a diff analysis between this trial balance and the other one. I'm sure they just changed it. The old diff analysis. Sensing some hostile energy. We just need to get this finished. And get okay, all this put it in Excel next to the other one. We need to send a message, all right? They sent us a PDF in a oh. hard Oh. All right, so they sent a PDF so that you don't have the actual numbers. Never mind the fact that you can actually extract numbers from, from a PDF. But that's pretty bush league, sending a PDF of an Excel spreadsheet. They hinted that the audit possibly might need more time due to the accounting team not being helpful. Dave, come on, man. Well, she's just expressing herself. That was bound to happen when you gave him a new trial balance. Low key though, copying the superior, that is like peak knowledge worker flex. You hear that? That's an Aventador engine. I've watched enough music videos to know that's an Aventador engine, okay? And that's our money code colo The partner's here. Hey guys, so she got a promotion. Just a little, uh, I've never seen one. <laughs> this is rad. Hi, Christian. Being an accountant fucking rules. All right, so partner rolling up in a Lambo. I don't know about Lambo, like seven series maybe. That guy was also awful young to be a partner. Also a partner turning up on site for an audit. Ever since I stopped showering six months ago, my pheromones have built up to a pretty insane level. I'm emitting this supercharged mating perfume that must be like honey to bees. Make it to Mahjong tonight, <laughs> Mahjong. period. 
I got I got disbursement. Disbursement, Jill. Jill. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's not a thing. I'm sure it's a thing some places. In general, it's not a thing. I don't know what it is, man. Something about the accounting world is just like prime for romance. Math is so freaking horny. Binary. Ones and zeros. Don't do it. No. Nope. Ones and ones. If that's what you're into. Zeros and zeros. You know what I'm saying? Integers. I want to get into her. Long division. Long division. I'm not good at physiology, but I know numbers. Okay, this is the furthest. I think this is the furthest we've gotten off the accountant beaten path so far. It's great television, though, right? To expose fake vendor fraud is to simply confirm that the business itself is a fake. And don't forget, that's got to be brought to light before the disbursements audit work Whoops. paper signed off on. And that, my friends, is how we're going to catch the... The real deal, fraud. vendor fraud happens fake all the fraud. time. So I got to have a different internal control process anytime there's a new vendor. So thank you for joining for this session. And as always, who's better than us? No, no body. body. Is that like a super cool continuing education guy? That's not a thing. Tracy did it. The Mac was a smoking gun. No accountant has a Mac. <laughs> no one in accounting has a Mac. Now that I think Using a Mac right now. I will say there is like a cool new agey accountant that takes pride in being a Mac user. As many Mac users do, right? That's not just an accounting thing. He's like our Yoda. I mean, he has helped every accountant in the last 20 years get through their CPA exams. The fact that he's helping us right now just shows that we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so he's a like a CPA test prep guy. There are weird, like, niche celebrities in the accounting profession, that's for sure. Look, Lindsay, the way I see it, you got one option. You've got to remove all your signatures from the audit portal. And man, I hate to tell you this, but you know you got to delete all those audit work papers, too. Wait, hold on, that's what I said. Look, by removing your signatures, that's going to force Anderson and Cooper to reopen the audit file, and then you know they'll have to take a closer look. Genius. Hunter, I'm still not seeing a payment notification, all right? So don't make me come find you and stand with my pencil. I can't wait you Are you listening? Oh. Oh, I lost service. Removing your signature from documentation? I feel like that's something you see bad actors do in a case of fraud, but never the accountant. The accountant knows how easy it is to sniff that stuff out. They're the ones that have seen these things a bunch of times. What do you mean that the audit didn't pass? I mean, this is supposed to be an easy layup. Who blocked the shot? I did. You blocked the shot? You did it right here in front of me? I mean, Boy, I'll tell you one thing. I hope you enjoy telling bosses bad news because that's not my thing. So this is like the fundamental conflict with audit is everybody's trying to get a positive audit outcome, but the entire job of the auditor is to find anything not positive. Meanwhile, the people that want the positive income are paying the other party that's trying to find the negative outcome. So that's very real. There's always this balance of who's getting in the way of just letting this thing run through. I removed all of my signatures from my reviews and I also deleted all of our files. I apologize, but that was the only way I could stop the audit from being signed off on. We found fraud. Over the past year, Tracy has been paying out two janitorial services. Hey, wait a minute. Is this meeting about me? What? You're getting a new janitor? There was a payment made to that account last night at 11.32 p.m. in the amount of $9,999.99. One penny less than what would require second a second signature. signature. So, if you're gonna have a fraudulent vendor. Janitorial? Really? Usually it's something a little more exciting than that. But it is nondescript. The payments theoretically would be small enough to where they wouldn't go through some additional approval process. I'm not gonna lie. It was a rough <laughs> transition into private accounting. But the people are great. And I'm having fun. Because accountants oh my gosh. are fun. And we make bank. <laughs> this is this is such an accountant thing. You go through something absolutely terrible, and afterwards it's like high fives, we got through it. Somehow all that stuff just gets blocked out. Oh, have you heard the one about the zombie CPA? He charges an arm and a leg. Strike three. Get her out of there. Hey, yeah. Nope. No. Nope. You knew this was come coming. On. Strike three, come on, you know the rules. You've known since day one. Seems pretty legit to me. What do you think? There's some pretty like inside baseball moments there. So well done to the team at Flowcast who have orchestrated this whole first season. I'm excited to watch this one myself. I'll put a link to it below. And for me, I think this one checks out.